Hey, what's going on everybody? Tyler here, coming at you with another beer review. Tonight's beer is one that I'm excited to bring to you. It is another one from Old Nation Brewing Company out of Williamston, Michigan, kind of around Lansing. It is part of their New Orthodox uh, IPA series, which is their hazy New England uh, IPAs. It includes M43, uh, Boss Tweed, are their two most popular, and then Boxer, Greenstone, uh, I think A Fine Stranger was their Dry Hop Saison. Includes all those. Uh, this one that I'm going to review tonight is called ME to MI. It is a New England triple IPA uh, coming in at 10.08, very precise. Uh, alcohol by volume, 50 IBUs. Gives a lot of information on the can here I'll read to you. It's in collaboration with uh, Foundation Brewing Company out of Maine. It doesn't say the city that... Uh, they're from, but it's in collaboration with them. Um, kind of a cool can uh, can artwork here. On the on the label, it does give the malt and the hops that were uh, used to make it. So the hop or the malt was pilsner, wheat, oat, and rice, which is different. Uh, hops are Magnum, Citra, Michigan Chinook, and Michigan Crystal. So they're emphasizing the Michigan grown hops here. Um, it was canned on. 323, so a week, a little less than a week and a half old. Uh, very fresh, and yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, I had to buy a ticket. Huge shout out to my girlfriend Gabriella for going and picking up the case of this. Um, they sold uh, tickets on Eventbrite for a chance to buy a case of it. Apparently, I hear it sold out in five, three or five minutes. I've heard both three and five minutes, um, so that's insane. 400 tickets sold that fast. Very uh, hyped up release. I also picked up the proper glassware foundation old nation ME to MI. So I'm done rambling. Let's get it into a glass. Uh, another cool thing they're doing on the on the label is they're uh, talking about the sediment, uh, which I don't really think needs to be talked about. But I guess with beers like M43 and how popular they are, they need to kind of give instructions on on the haze because uh, a lot of people I guess don't understand it and it scares them apparently they say don't freak out <laughs> so you can, they they say on the can you can either roll the can or uh, pour it you know gingerly and leave the sediment behind I don't know kind of cool I guess give new uh, craft beer drinkers kind of a in on it anyway let's uh, let's get into it pouring a real real dark orange nice kind of uh, like a burnt orange color nice frothy head here um, good glass lacing nice and uh, nice and sudsy just a white white uh, white head looks pretty nice it looks the part looks creamy looks delicious let's get an aroma Big orange in this one. I'm getting uh, a lot of citrus in this. Yeah, like a fresh, fresh squeezed orange juice, a pulpy, creamy orange juice. Um, probably more specifically, a pineapple orange juice, because uh, you get that tangy pineapple in there too. Yeah, it's a nice. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice citrusy aroma. So let's get a taste. Cheers, everybody. Taste follows the nose in uh, in that it's very citrus, very sweet orange juice forward. I'm getting a little bit of a dankness, too, on that last sip. I got an aroma of, of kind of a... Uh, an herbaly dankness to it, uh, which is interesting. I didn't get that in the aroma originally, but in that sip I did. Um, mouth feels great, nice and full, uh, creamy, pillowy, fluffy. Yeah, everything you want. And then, and then after you kind of realize how pillowy and fluffy it is, it goes into a nice, very sweet, tropical orange juice. Um, very sweet sticky uh, tropical flavors so like an overripe mango or an overripe uh, 
pineapple where you get tons of juicy sweetness in the in the bite and then it leaves your tongue and your lips kind of sticky um, and very sweet and that lingers on um, yeah and then after that initial big huge burst of orange juice of tropical orange juice subsides it goes into a more delicate uh, fruity flavor like big um, sort of delicate peach notes as I say in some of my reviews some peach a little bit of apricot um, a good earthiness too uh, not not bitter that's kind of associated with bitter but there's like a piney earthiness to it uh, that plays off the malty backbone uh, so there's like a nice kind of crackery biscuity uh, light crackery um, malt backbone in this that kind of plays off of the sweet fruits in a in a very inviting way um, I think that's kind of where where the body where it gets its body from um, yeah and then the end is a little bit dank a little bit resinous a little bit bitter finish um, and it leaves your mouth semi dry but not too much um, and it just leaves those nice kind of sticky sweet flavors um, alcohol 10.08 percent you're not tasting it um, maybe a touch you know as it goes down and yeah it's a good drinking beer if you like any of the top New England IPAs uh, that are out there right now you'd like this one it's a big full body one it's not crushable it's not sessionable yeah it's just a nice triple New England style IPA big resinous sticky sweet very sweet a little bit of bitterness on the back end just a kiss of bitterness um, and so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this review give it a thumbs up if you really liked it subscribe to my channel I'll have links to my social media, my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram in the description below. It's at Review the Brew at all three of those places. Um, I have Review the Brew shirts and sweatshirts now, uh, so I'll have a link in my description to check those out if you're interested in repping some Review the Brew swag. Um, comment down below if you've had this, if you got your hands on some, and uh, what you thought. Um, yeah. So thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate it as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.